do until everybody has a chance to be heard. Uh, now, a lot of my colleagues sitting here, if you have other uh, you know, appointments and you have to leave, we, we certainly understand. But I think it would be, uh, I think it would be critical for us at this point, Mr. Chair, for let us to get some kind of initial response uh, from our state colleagues and from the EPA mm -hmm. colleagues as to really where where we are, what has been done, and what the issues are. And then uh, I think it would be appropriate for us to take the public input. I think uh, what I would encourage those of you to do uh, is, uh, and again, we, you know, we're here to listen. Uh, but we know what the problem is. Okay, we know it rolls downhill. So saying, all right. We know it's been going on for a long time. We know that people are frustrated, and we have to look real hard to try to find a reason why it's still happening. Uh, we've been addressing this issue. Georgia, Florida has been and, and Loco have been addressing this issue for years. So I would hope that what we would not do is spend a lot of time rehashing what the problems are. We, we know what the problems are. You know, what we don't need is another, we don't need another study to put it on the shelf. We want action now to clean up what's there and to prevent it from occurring again. So I would suggest to you uh, when, when we're listening, uh, again, I don't want to stop laying up, but uh, we know what the issue is. And if you've got any other additional information, we'd love to have it, but uh, I'm tired. Of li I'm tired of having to deal with the mess. No pun intended. Okay. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do. We just talk. Talk what we want. So I think, Mr. Chair, that'd be an appropriate way to, to, to talk. I, I guess I start off with a simple question.